Hi there, um, just a quick video. Um, I'm in the office, it's Friday afternoon, finished work. I'm just testing some kit that I'm taking to Brazil with me on Wednesday. Um, so I'm gonna be back in Para, uh, in the jungles of Northern Brazil, working for probably three weeks. Um, hopefully not longer than that. Um, this time I'm taking the SDR Play RSP Duo with me um, and I've already got it configured to the laptop that I use for traveling. Uh, a Lenovo Ultrabook um, and I'm just testing it with the Benito NTI Mega Loop, which is also coming with me so so this is gonna be a first um, I've not actually used a magnetic loop out in Brazil for obvious reasons the uh, Wellbrook loop being rigid would be a bit difficult to get on the airplane um, but this is where the Mega Loop comes in um, and the SDR play for that matter um, the SDR Play RSP Duo is powered uh, via USB, so that runs off my laptop. The Mega Loop can also be powered via USB, and when I'm in Brazil, will also run off my laptop. Right now, I'm just using it with my homebrew battery pack. Um, and then as far as the loop itself is concerned, I'm using the smaller loop, five, five meter cable, which I've literally got suspended from a window. Now, if you're wondering why there are bars on the window, um, the building that my company is in used to be a storage uh, for uh, millions of pounds worth of mobile phones, so uh, it's not because it's actually a prison. Um, and it all is working well. So right now, um, what I'm also planning to do actually is I'm going to try decoding FT8 out in the jungle, see what I can hear. Um, I do copy signals from South America on FT8. Uh, in fact, I've QSO'd one or two, uh, Venezuela, um, but I hear uh, signals from Brazil reasonably often. Um, and with the mega loop just hanging in the window, um, I'm right now decoding uh, North America, as you can see, United States, um, minus 17, minus 16, minus 19. The signal strength numbers are, are just a I think it's a ratio to the noise floor of the receiver, um, so they're sort of arbitrary, but basically anything near zero is good. Anything around about sort of minus five to minus 15 is probably average. Uh, anything approaching minus 20, minus 22 is, if you've decoded it, my, in my experience, well, you're not going to be able to QSO. Uh, and then anything, any positive integer means that you're either uh, there's either superb propagation or the TXO is using a lot of power. Uh, An FT8 is kind of designed apparently for sort of 25, 35 watts, but I've read uh, comments on discussion forums where guys have, told, have said that they're using 400 watts, which seems crazy for a narrowband digital mode, but anyway. But anyway, so anyway, it, it's working pretty well. So here, here we go, uh, United States, uh, K3 ABE uh, minus 10 um, into my office using uh, the five meter cable indoors. So, um, you know, I'm hoping to have some decent uh, success um, with this little setup. I'm also taking the uh, XH Data D808 with me, um, just charged it up last night. So, uh, uh, I'll be using that with the, um, uh, with the Mega Loop. Um, I've got various cables and what have you. There you go. So there's my um, BNC to uh, mono audio 3.5 millimeter jack uh, that I'm going to use with that. So I'm quite excited to um, to try some DXing with the magnetic loop. Copied quite a lot of interesting stuff when I was there last, including uh, Radio Apinti from Suriname, which was um, a big thrill for me. Um, never heard them before. Uh, a couple of other stations that I've not copied previously, so uh, I'm looking forward to the trip. Um, I'm not looking forward to being out in the jungle for another three weeks, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's work, so I've got to go. But uh, um, in the evenings, there's nothing to do. The nearest supermarket is like 70 kilometers down a dirt track. So um, in the evenings, there's nothing to do. And so this hobby suits that perfectly. Um, I've always got something to do um, because there's always something to listen to. So uh, uh, there you go. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, so that's the setup. Um, expect to see videos um, using this equipment out in the jungle probably towards the end of next week um, or next weekend. Um, they do have internet, I think it comes in via satellite, so um, 
Uh, it can be a bit patchy, but um, I've always managed to upload videos when I've been there previously, so uh, I'm sure this time will be no different. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching.